Hello everyone, welcome to 360 on History. Uh, please check out the website 360onhistory.com. We have a new book there. It's called Fantastic Women about all the important women that you may or may not know about in science and history. And also please check out the YouTube channel 360 on History and join us on social media. Today we enter the uh, field of geology. Now, there's no doubt that Earth's history has been marked by several intriguing and exciting events that have shaped life on our planet. These events have led to the emergence of new life or even the complete annihilation of certain species. One such remarkable occurrence was the Carnian Pluvial Event or CPE, also known as the Carnian Crisis, which took place around 232 million years ago. Now, this was a period of continuous rain that lasted 1 to 2 million years and played a pivotal role in the evolution of life on Earth, particularly during the emergence of dinosaurs and other terrestrial fauna. So, what happened? Around 200 to 300 million years ago, the Earth was home to a supercontinent known as Pangaea, when the Earth experienced an unprecedented era of non-stop rainfall. Our planet and its supercontinent were prone to monsoons at this time anyway. Now, monsoons are periods of heavy rain when moisture-heavy air rises from the sea towards land. Once there, it cools down and falls as heavy rain. During the Carnian pluvial event, the seas uh, they heated further, resulting in more moisture above and heavier rainfall on land. Geologists in the 1970s and 80s made significant discoveries in ancient rocks dating back to 232 to 234 million years. Studies conducted in the Eastern Alps and the UK reveal layers of siliclastic sedimentation and grey rock, indicating a transition from a dry spell to a prolonged rainy period. So, what did the rainy period do? Well, it is thought that the carnial pluvial event was triggered by a surge in humidity, possibly due to a massive volcanic eruption in the Rangela Large Igneous Province. This event led to a substantial increase in global temperatures, warming oceans and elevating atmospheric moisture content. Research published in the Journal of Geological Society highlighted how this wet period was advantageous for dinosaurs, allowing them to diversify and dominate the land. So this prolonged humid and wet period was not conducive to life according to the study in the Journal of the Geological Society which said volcanic eruptions generate acid rain and greenhouse gases which in turn lead to the extinction by shock warming, stripping of vegetation and soils on land and ocean anoxia and acidification. Unquote. But conversely though, this period of rain benefited dinosaurs and also facilitated the diversification of various terrestrial fauna. So what basically happened that while some uh, fauna and flora uh, com was completely inhalated, others took their place in the niches that were left behind. So the Carnian pluvial event played a crucial role in shaping the modern fauna of terrestrial tetrapods, including turtles, crocodiles, lizards and mammals. This era marked a significant turning point in her Earth's history, enabling the rise of dominant land-dwelling uh, species following a tumultuous period characterized by volcanic activity and extinctions. According to one paper, quote, in the wake of wide extinctions of plants and key herbivores on land, the dinosaurs were seemingly the main beneficiaries in the time of recovery expanding rapidly in diversity, ecological impact and regional distribution from South America initially to all continents." Unquote. So, there is no doubt 
that the Carnian pluvial event is an example of how changes in our planet's environment can drive evolutionary changes and shape the course of life. This ancient rainy period not only nurtured the rise of dinosaurs, but also laid the foundations for the diverse terrestrial fauna that we see today. Isn't it a fascinating event? Thank you for joining me on 360 on History. Please uh, join us again next time.